Hi guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. <laughs> So you may have seen this poster pop up recently on Netflix. Don't do it. <laughs> this is The Vault starring James Franco and Francesca Eastwood. I actually really, really like her. I watched a movie of hers recently that I thought was a fucking killer. I'll talk about it in my favorites of January. You don't want to miss it. Great film. But um, she was half the reason I wanted to watch this. James Franco, very questionable these days. I am gonna leave it at that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of him anyway, never have been. I don't know, it's hard. I, I like some of the roles he does. Um, I think he does some really good, sensitive roles. But then he just does not seem like a guy that would be cool in real life, if you know what I mean. Anyway, on to the next. You guys might remember I spoke about a movie that's called The House on Willow Street, A House on Willow Street, From A House on Willow Street. It has many different titles. And that movie was about a kidnapping and the person they were kidnapping was actually possessed, which was an amazing idea. This movie is kind of like that and I feel kind of bad if I'm ruining it for you, but if you click on this movie and you see it's a horror, and you read what it's kind of about, you're gonna think that you're in for a wild ride, but you're not. Let's start from the start. The movie opens with a girl going into a bank to get an interview to work there, and then a girl at a teller losing her shit, and you can see they're making eye contact, um, then something else sketch is going on and you're realizing they're setting them up and they're gonna rob their asses. During the holdup, uh, the hostages start to reveal that this isn't any ordinary bank, it's actually haunted and what lies in the vault is not human. Actually, they don't know what it is um, and throughout the story, it is revealed. Firstly, I want to say it is a really dark story. When they go through the back story that is finally revealed, I think it's really fucked up and I think that they use certain wordings and certain situations to make it really the imagery in your head very fucked up and I like that but I would say that's the only redeeming factor of the film the relationship between these people who are the robbers um, comes to light it's kind of a little bit weak um, for me there wasn't enough desperation there and to rob a bank you'd have to have a really strong connection or uh, They've got to have some desperation and for what happens, I don't feel like the robbery was justified. I just think it was very strange the way they set up the relationships and the excuse for needing to be there when it was getting very nasty. The film also does not have it going for it that it is extremely predictable. I don't really want to spoil why, but there is something that happens that it just gives everything away very easily. And I'm sure you guys are not dumb, you'll pick it up. And um, I just did not, I did not prefer that. And for me, by the time the reveal actually happens, it's not even, it has nothing to do with the story anymore. It wasn't that jaw dropping. Sometimes I try and be so subtle that it doesn't matter. <laughs> if that makes any sense, like you already figured it out, but it doesn't actually contribute to the storyline in any way. And I just thought it was quite unoriginal quite predictable. I understood what they were trying to do. They were trying to do a house on Willow Street, take a situation, put a like a little um, paranormal spin, which I love the idea. Again, I love the idea of a normal situation and that is when you find something paranormal or like a crazy situation that is non-paranormal and that's when, you know, a fucking ghost pops out. I love that. But uh, then they try to spring another kind of subplot into it and it all became a little bit too messy but not focused enough on the characters to actually give a fuck and you know me i like giving a fuck sometimes unless it's about walking dead then i don't i don't have much more to say about this film i did not enjoy it and i don't think you guys will either so i wanted to really warn you quickly as it just popped up on my netflix a couple of days ago and if you're looking for something to watch this week maybe don't do this and i'll save you some time and then you can give me a thumbs up because i helped you i'm gonna give this one a four out of ten for personal a three out of ten for scare um, just because I really like that backstory. I thought that was really creepy. Can we remake this already? And for originality, I'm gonna give it a five because yes, it did what I like. It gave this original idea by combining two different things, but it fell flat on its face and it was very predictable. So that is how I feel about The Vault. If you enjoyed this or if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky guys, bye. <laughs>